Nestled in the heart of Gaslamp, this name more than 100 years old. Bonnie was a force of nature. Glittering glass chandeliers may catch your eye as a sultry jazz melody invites you inside. Some of the details here, remnants still standing from the 1920s. The brick is original. Including this photo of Madame Bonnie herself. You don't want to mess with her. No, you don't. <laughs> First and foremost, a businesswoman who built a fortune for herself and her family, unheard of at the time. What do you hope that people take away when they come here? It's some fun, interesting history. She was years ahead years ahead because even the term business woman was pretty unheard of at the time and her decision to leave home alone it's exceedingly remarkable especially at that time Kristen jane the grand niece of madame bonnie and steve brooks bonnie's nephew the red chandelier really it's fabulous she was poor dirt poor and uh, she married young. Bonnie was raised on a farm in Wyoming. After a failed marriage, she left for San Diego with dreams of starting a new life. What I love about this photograph, her eyebrows. And she found herself here in San Diego alone as a woman with very few choices to keep herself housed and fed and healthy. Kristen says Bonnie arrived in the early 1920s at the beginning of Prohibition. Through extended family connections, she found a way to source liquor for a bar right here. Let's talk more about this space and what was this like? What do we know about what this was decades and decades ago? The upstairs um, from its beginning had had a different purpose, but this is the gas lamp. That was the purpose of this area at the time. The profitable Prohibition era business grew to include a salacious secret, a hotel turned brothel upstairs. So the sailors were next door. It was easy clientele. Right. <laughs> the family still has some gowns and gloves belonging to the madam herself. She was a tiny woman. After World War II, law enforcement had their sights set on cleaning up the gas lamp. Bonnie shifted her sights to real estate and other ventures. But her name, still here, a century later. Which I'm sure she loves. With a legacy that lives on in new ways. This is the essence of Madame Bonnie's. Everything that we do has to do with empowering women and believing in what they do and giving them an opportunity. The bar and restaurant, female forward, from the feminine faces you'll find on the walls to much of the staff they've hired and musicians who perform. When you walk in here, you can feel it. It's different from any other place. A nod to Bonnie's spirit and her Prohibition era proprietress. With photojournalist Ray Higgins, Madison Weil, ABC 10 News.